Let's learn how to move the face and the lips with the only image and an audio. Look at the left image and the French audio. Il est plus difficile de changer ce qui se trouve à l'extérieur que ce qui se trouve à l'intérieur. And now let's do the same with the video. This video has no audio and let's see the result. Il est plus difficile de changer ce qui se trouve à l'extérieur que ce qui se trouve à l'intérieur. So, let's learn today how to achieve this uh, result. First of all, we will uh, start with the setting the environment and create a content environment with the relevant uh, Python libraries. So, let's start with the, the git clone of the relevant uh, Python library. It's called sed Talker. So we will go through all the steps to install it on a Windows machine. You can do it, of course, on a, on a Linux machine. So let's start with the git clone. We are download, downloading all the relevant files. Let's uh, go inside, inside the setdocker uh, folder. Next, let's create the conda environment. We will name it as setdoc. And the Python should be 3.10.6. It's really important. It should be this exact version. So after the creation, let's uh, activate this set of okay, Conda environment. I have a syntax error. Right. Okay. Now we're in. Let's continue to the next step. Now we would like to install the FFmpeg. Uh, library Python library it will be relevant for the second step which is deal with videos okay let's wait a few more seconds okay done now we need to install PyTorch but before that let's see what are what is our CUDA version and as you can see it's 11.6 you have to install pre-install your CUDA um, CUDA software in your local machine now I'm looking for the uh, 11.6 Mm, this is the one, so basically it's PyTorch 1.13.1. Let's copy the command for installation for 11.6 and let's run it. Let's wait a few more seconds. I run it as a fast forward, but probably it should take several minutes. Okay, done. Next, let's see inside our uh, folder, you, you can see there is a requirements.txt. So let's install it, pip install minus r requirements.txt. And I will jump directly to the end of the installation. Now you should download the, the relevant files, all the files that I store in my repo. So you have to download it and copy it to the set docker root folder. And as you can see, there is a download.bat that I have done some changes and, and adjust it to Windows environment. So you should run it and it will download all the relevant model and weights in order to run this uh, setdocker uh, Python library. So let's wait a few more seconds. Okay, we finished downloading all the relevant data. You can see the checkpoints folder with the files and the GFP weights with all the files. Great. Now let's run, uh, run it on a single image. This image would be in my repo so you can use it. As for now, let's just test it. Open the image and open the audio file and see that if everything is ready for the runtime. Il est plus difficile de changer ce qui se trouve à l'extérieur que ce qui se trouve à l'intérieur. Ok, so the image is ready and the audio is ready, so let's run the command. It should be python inference.py, please notice you should be on the set, set talker root directory. Then the driven audio, you should uh, send the relevant argument which is the our, our French WAV file. So let's copy and paste the full name. Then the source image. 
which is the Lilach face image. Let's copy and paste it as well. Okay. And let's add a few more arguments. Then the enhancer type, it should be GFP GAN and let's press enter. Now let's wait a few more seconds. It depends on your machine. I believe it should take a, a minute or two, no more. And let's wait for the result. As you can see, the name is going to be Lilach Face French Female dot MP4. This would be the name of the result a video file. Okay, let's wait a few more seconds. Okay, it's about to finish. Okay, this is the name. Okay, it's on the result folder. Let's run it. Il est plus difficile de changer ce qui se trouve à l'extérieur que ce qui se trouve à l'intérieur. Very nice. Now let's continue to the second step, which is um, doing a lip sync for a video. So this would be our video. It has no sound. I download, download it from Pexels. And let's do a similar process to a video file. So let's run a python inference.py. The first argument would be the, the audio file, which is the French, French female.wav. Next should be the source video. Let's copy and paste the, the name. Okay, now the enhancer. Same enhancer for the images, which is the GFP gun. Okay, the next argument is where we would like to store the result MP4 file. It will be on the results folder. And the last important one, a uh, Preprocess full, and uh, this is a uh, marks that it's a video and not an image. Uh, I can see I have a syntax error. Uh, it should be a driven audio. Okay, let's fix it and run it again. Okay, this process, the second one that deals with the video, is a longer one. It took about an, an hour in my uh, local machine. So I will jump directly to the result. And then we can see and hear the generated the video file. We are expecting to see uh, the girl in the, in the video file uh, speaking French. So, okay, so let's fast forward for the to the end directly to the end. This is the name of the new video file, and let's run it. Il est plus difficile de changer ce qui se trouve à l'extérieur que ce qui se trouve à l'intérieur. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. Bye bye.